It's Friday, October 4th, and I'm, you're watching Barnstable Today. After more than a decade, 11 years to be exact, Barnstable Today, or Barnstable This Morning for the longtime viewers, has been, morning, has been a morning live show showcasing news from the town of Barnstable, starting with hosts Mark Mumford and Kevin Friel in 2008, and over the years with hosts Nick Cortez, Melissa Chartrand, Sarah Colvin, Sarah Mannell, myself, Sarah Beal, and of course, Paula Hersey. We have all had the honor of reporting events, meetings, village news, and helping you understand the nuances of your town government live every morning. The media landscape has changed over the years, and the vehicle for content distribution has shifted dramatically. From our busy lives to new content delivery platforms like YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram, our mission at Channel 18 needs to adapt to the changing tides. Station manager Sarah Beal joins me this morning to roll out the new, exciting content changes and how they will serve you, our residents, engaging our community with content that matters. The first thing we're going to talk about is meetings. So we're going to continue our excellent coverage, gavel to gavel, of over 30 meetings and hearings a month. Um, some of you who are used to watching our video on demand may have noticed that we also offer agenda chaptering, which we've rolled out this year. And the agenda chaptering allows you to find the content that you're looking for in each meeting. You can go right to that spot in the meeting without having to watch the whole thing. So meeting coverage is going to continue, and it's only going to get better. Right. And we really, that is the mission here at Barnstable um, Channel 18, is to make sure that our residents are informed that can see these meetings if they're unable to attend. Right. Right. We also have a documentary unit uh, that we will start to roll out. Uh, storytelling has become one of the largest vehicles for video over the last few years. The town of Barnstable has so many stories to tell, from arts and culture to history, to the departments and divisions and spotlights on the people who work in your town. We're giving a voice to the unique character of our villages. The documentary unit is really going to be an opportunity for us to really highlight all of the great things here in Barnstable, in the town, in the community. We've done a few documentary style pieces over the past year and you're gonna be seeing more of these high quality programs coming and I'm really excited about this. Right, this will be more episodic as well. Um, the talent on our staff from Chris Letta and Stone Dow have really uh, understood how to be storytellers, uh, how to be photographers out there in the field and there's gonna be a little bit more pre-production and more post-production done with these stories. So they may take a little longer, yep. but the results will be an engaging content that really matters to our community. Mm -hmm. We're going to be doing some current events. We'll be bringing town-sponsored events to you as they happen, live through Channel 18 and through social platforms like Facebook Live. We're going to be leveraging the unique talents of our staff to photograph momentous occasions, provide real-time notification of emergencies and town directives as they happen. Uh, we've all already started to do a lot of Facebook Live. Some of our, our viewers may, have, you know, if you like us on Facebook, which you should, have seen some of these events that we've done in the past. Recently, we uh, did Facebook Lives for the um, promotions at the Barnesville Police Department. What are some of the other Facebook Live events we've done, Paula? Uh, we've done uh, the ceremonies for 9-11. Uh, we've actually covered uh, two in that one day, which uh, has really you know, if we went out with a crew and then had to post-produce that, it would have taken a couple of days yeah. for that content to actually hit Barnstable today. So by being out there live for um, parades or another, uh, lots of folks who don't live in the area mm -hmm. have done that. And then there's lots of community events. Uh, one of the ones that was just fantastic this past summer is we went live during Unity Day. Yes. And uh, the Chief of Police was, was very impressed. Uh, we will probably uh, up our game in doing some of those, ribbon cuttings, mm -hmm. really, you know, things that are out there, uh, town-sponsored events, really should be covered live. We'll also use photographs. So we've been doing uh, photography for a little while here at Channel 18, and we've noticed that we can tell a story with photographs and, you know, giving you a little background on the event, but then showing our residents in our photos. Yeah, one of the events that we've done uh, both live and we posted photos were from the uh, Rec Department's Leisure Program Talent Show. We went live on Facebook for a little bit, but you also took some amazing photos that we were able to share on our Facebook page. And I know the parents that maybe couldn't make it to the Leisure Program Talent Show that day loved seeing their kids having so much fun up on the stage performing, 
So this is where that's all going to come into, and we're really excited about it. And if, like I said before, if you don't follow us on Facebook, now's the time to do it because you're going to see a lot more coming out on there. Right. And then public service announcements, PSAs, department listening sessions and initiatives, public health and safety, recreation and youth events, educational and informative content that is shareable and memorable. So we've really not done a lot of just simple public service announcements, mm -hmm. but we have found that the call for them has really dramatically increased. Short 30 seconds to maybe two minutes of really important, timely information that can go literally anywhere mm -hmm. on the internet. Yeah, it can live on social media, it will live on Channel 18 as part of the slideshow. Uh, if you're a frequent viewer of Channel 18, you know that in between meetings and shows, we have what we call the slideshow, and these PSAs will also be able to live on there. So instead of just seeing static slides, you'll s be seeing more of these videos informing you of, you of events and programs and things going on within t different town departments. So. Yeah. And some of these things, too, as well, you know, you've seen department uh, folks, you know, from harbor masters to natural resource officers to recreation to planning and development. They've, they've made time in their busy schedule to take the truck down to the basement, to hit the studio, to really only talk for about three or four minutes about something that they need the public to be informed at. Right. This will actually help our departments be more timely with their information so the resident gets more lead time in maybe attending a meeting or actually knowing about the father-daughter dance at right. the HYCC. Our o oyster season opening day, recreational, November second. <laughs> <laughs> recreational shellfish licenses being for sale, mooring right. list, all of these kind of things. These are the information you can find in our PSAs. There will also be educational pieces to that. We'll be teaching you maybe some um, verbiage that people aren't aware of. Uh, soul storm source, water. Storm water, soul source aquifer. These are things right. we're going to be delving into to keep you informed. Excellent. And then our studio unit. Complex subjects need in-depth conversations, deep dive interviews, town leaders, council managers, county and state representatives, a wide range of topics to help the resident become more informed. This particular unit is really near and dear to my heart. Mm -hmm. um, I love that deep dive, that long form interview. And we're gonna change it up a little bit. We're, uh, you're not gonna see a green screen behind us. <laughs> we're going to actually do a little bit more of a 60 minute style right. interview where it's more engaging, it's more pre-produced uh, and obviously post-produced. And we'll have a chance to really stop and have a conversation about some of these intricacies of town government or regulatory processes or actually even some of the water quality issues that we're seeing around our town and the quality of life. Yes, the studio interviews are going to be a, li a little bit more, they're going to have a, a different feel to them than they do now and I think people are really going to respond to that because a part of that is changes that will be happening here to our TV studio. Uh, we are getting new lighting, we're going to have a new set, and we have all these upgrades that are kind of coinciding with these changes that we're making. So it's kind of perfect timing for, for all of this, these changes that are coming with all these upgrades that we're getting. And it's really going to make what we'll be doing, you know, more palatable. Right. And if people don't know about our studio, we are in the town hall basement um, with a green screen. So if you've noticed that I, I'm not dying my hair green, um, <laughs> our lighting is, is, uh, uh, showing its age, I guess you would say. It's and about uh, 10 years old. <laughs> it's <so>. about <laughs> 10 years old. So the new lighting will be actually green lighting. It's going to be LED. It'll actually have a nicer look to, uh, folks that are, uh, in front of those lights. Mm -hmm. Uh, it won't be as blinding. Uh, try reading a teleprompter with lights in your eyes, folks. It's a little more difficult. Yes. But again, the set will change as well. We won't stand and be more of a news set. We'll actually have different sets for different shows. Right. And this will all allow us to do, make these changes and, you know, bring you a better, more comprehensive Channel 18. Right. This will take some time to change. It will. Uh, so with our uh, last episode of Barnstable Today, you'll still see content on Channel 18. We'll be putting content that we're producing out there. But what you're going to see on Channel 18 is more episodic. So mm -hmm. there's actually going to be one show going away, but multiple shows right. coming your way. Right, exactly. So we hope that you'll stay tuned. Be sure to follow us on social media to stay up to date and informed about what is going on. 
You can find us on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash Barnstable Channel 18. We're also on Instagram at Channel 18 underscore Barnstable, where we'll be posting videos to Instagram TV. Uh, we'll continue our, you know, wonderful vi pictures that you take, Paula, of just Barnstable in all its glory. Uh, we're also on Twitter, and that handle is at BarnstableCH18. And on YouTube, www.youtube.com, Barnstable Channel 18. And on YouTube, we're going to actually segment out. Right now, we do have a couple of different uh, video lists mm -hmm. that we kind of categorize our content in. Mm -hmm. uh, there's one for business right now, as well as water quality. Yeah. I'm Paula Hersey. And I'm Sarah Beal. Thank you for watching this last episode of Barnstable today. We look forward to introducing you to the new Channel 18 and producing content that matters to you. And Channel 18 is such a good platform uh, for getting the local interest because it is local. It's the people who live in this community, run this station, are involved in the editing, are involved in the story compilation, and take a special interest in these interviews. It's not somebody from Boston or somewhere else that's talking to the people in our community to get these answers and to get these stories. It's, it's your neighbor. If it's on Channel 18, it's very easy when people are looking for public records of a meeting and what happened. So Channel 18 um, not only helps get the word out to the community, but it also educates the community on what we're doing. I found out about many things through Channel 18, which I would not have known about. I think you'd be surprised how many people choose to view that Channel 18 uh, programming as opposed to uh, general network programming. We could educate on actually what we're doing and how we serve the community. Public access TV is so important because it gives the police department and other town departments a platform to get messages out to the public in a format that they can also pull back up later on. They can get back in the computer, they can get back wherever they need to, they can review it, they can go back and pick up whatever was said, so it's not just lost, it's not just something that's a snippet on the airwave somewhere. If you can't make it out to town hall for that public meeting, you still have access to that, that dialogue and access to information about those issues that are happening. What I like to do sometimes is watch Channel 18 on my phone if I'm watching a town council meeting. I can actually watch it live, stream it on my phone uh, through the internet. I love that. So from the town clerk's office, it's uh, really important to us and, and we appreciate everything you do for us. A Channel 18 plays a really important role in helping people not just to get to know town government, but to get to know each other as well and feel like they're part of a bigger community. And the way the people of this town find out about these committees and the way I found out about the committees is through Channel 18. Before our, we got the information out on Channel 18, we had a limited amount of people that came into the office. Uh, and Channel 18 really helped uh, spread the word to the community. This year, for the first time in a lot of years, we've had a much larger response. So I can only attribute that to being on Channel 18 so much. Video really is the way to illustrate all of this amazing environmental stuff that we do. I mean, what better thing than to take somebody for a ride down the beach and actually show them a plover, or actually show them uh, the osprey nests and, and all, all the different things that we're involved with here. Channel 18 is our voice. Um, they're, they're a way for us to speak to our community about what we're doing and let them know um, when there are opportunities for them to get engaged so we can listen to them as well. The struggle is how do we, how do we communicate what we're doing to very busy people that are running their own lives and not necessarily paying attention to us, but still need to know what we're doing in a way that's effective. And Channel 18 has been a really great asset in that. Channel 18 is a great example how if how citizens, and we're all so busy these days, um, how citizens, if, if they can't make it to a meeting or um, if they don't have time to sort of follow along with everything that's happening, it gives them a resource. Channel 18 provides the opportunity for someone like me and I'm sure many, many other people to find out about how well this town is run. The Sandy Neck staff and then the natural resource staff and the shellfish staff um, really enjoy showing what we do and having an opportunity to really dig into some of these topics and know that people will understand better what we do, why we do it, and the environmental impact 
uh, really, you know, our life work. The citizen to be involved and aware of what's going on with the government because in the end, as citizens, it's our duty to be, to, to hold the government accountable. It's our government at work. I, I talk with Channel 18 almost any chance I get because there's always something happening here. It is sort of the one outlet where we can guarantee Barnstable people will get Barnstable information.